the series contains 11 elements and each term is greater than the previous element by 4 these are all positive integers so what matters is suppose the first term is 5 the other terms are going to be 9 13 and they're going to be 11 terms so see as long as the gap is known and the number of terms is known the standard deviation can be determined you don't actually have to know the exact terms even if this were 35 39 43 11 terms in this series the standard deviation would be the same because standard deviation is about what is the difference between the terms it's not about what the terms are so let me give you a quick example the standard deviation is calculated say for example the terms are 5 10 15 20 25 standard deviation were to be calculated first of all the average is calculated 15 and then difference between average and each term is calculated so 10 5 0 minus 5 minus 10 and then these are squared up 100 25 0 25 100 then their sum is calculated and then this sum that we determine square root of this term let's call it k the square root of k divided by n minus 1 is the standard deviation so see it's not about even if these are 5 10 15 20 25 even if these were 105 110 115 120 125 the standard deviation would not change so it's the gap that matters the terms themselves don't matter so statement one is very much sufficient statement two talks about only the first element it doesn't talk about the gap the gap is important the number of terms are important sorry the gap is already given the gap is four but it doesn't talk about the number of terms we need the number of terms statement two is not sufficient some students would choose option c thinking that the first term is needed this is a trap the point is that the first term is not needed as long as the gap is known gap we know from the question only the gap is four every time and statement one gives us the number of elements and therefore statement one alone is sufficient